Oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, you straightened up there. Oh, and a little. We, we got a little. Uh, oh, we're, we got another another angle here, folks. Oh my gracious! Good night. Holy cow! Lucky you didn't just hit his head there. Yeah. Uh, what it really I was on paid time off PTO last week, and all of a sudden on Friday, I start seeing these videos <laughs> of Biden falling, and I think, ah, man, somebody did a deep fake. Uh, good gracious, I hope we haven't covered this. And then I look and I look, oh my gosh, it's it real. was real. Yeah. And what was real? It was this footage of Biden going up the steps of Air Force One. Stay tuned, we've got more stuff to show you, uh, but roll the footage of Biden. Oh my really? gosh! Oh no! <laughs> Oh no! Oh, you straightened up there. Oh, and a little. We, a little we got a little. Uh, oh, we're, we got another another angle here, folks. Oh my gracious! Good night. Holy cow! Lucky you didn't just hit his head there. Yeah. Uh, what it really is. All right, I love the... Now, cut back to us for a minute, because I want to imitate... I love this number, right? <laughs> the pep yeah. and the step at the end. Uh, that's, yeah, show he's okay. So, uh, immediately, people began comparing this to Gerald Ford. If you remember, Gerald Ford slipped coming down Air Force One uh, uh, years and years ago. Um, can we roll that footage? Josh, none of us remember that. For President Ford, the year seemed full of snags. In June, he fell What's down different? The oh, it's raining. <laughs> oh, they're metal steps. Oh, they're slippery. But a whole lot more serious were the two attempts. And he is back up on his feet. The occurred on September 5th as the president <laughs> and appears to be fine. Building in Sacramento, California. And I thought we were going to see Gerald slip again in a video <laughs> I had not seen before. Um, so immediately the left begins, oh, this is no big deal. It happened with Gerald Ford. Now, they mocked Gerald Ford for decades over this. I mean, that is the thing he is known for. That's what Chevy Chase made him known for. Wrong. He would. Oh, I didn't know that one. But he he, know he's that super either. clumsy. That's how they painted him. That's how Chevy Chase painted him. That's how he's been ever since then. Now, I've got one more clip to show you. The media, while they they said almost nothing about Biden's trip, uh, here's some video of Trump, and they did say something about this. Let's show the Trump video. This was at uh, West Point. <laughs> nothing compared to Biden. <laughs> nothing compared to Biden, but let me read you something. New York Times ran this headline about uh, ran uh, yeah this headline about the video you just watched. Trump's halting walk down ramp raises new health questions. Gingerly stepping. <laughs> Friday, this is the headline they ran for Biden. Biden is quote doing one hundred percent fine end quote after tripping while boarding Air Force One. Washington Post, meanwhile, ran this headline for Trump at West Point. Trump tries to explain his slow and unsteady walk down a ramp at West Point. Slow and unsteady walk. What did they say about Biden on Friday? Biden stumbles climbing stairs on Air Force One. The double standard is ridiculous. And so the funny thing to me, or not funny, the telling thing to me is that they immediately began comparing him to Gerald Ford. You make... <laughs> You make comparisons like that when you're trying to minimize something or dismiss something. They know this right. was bad. They know it was bad. So what does what do we take from this? Uh, for me, I mean, a we've seen we could say, oh, I take that he's you know he's an unsteady leader. Uh, we knew that already. We've seen that from the gaffes and other yeah. slip ups. Uh, what it, what really gets to me is that his press team is actually incredibly incompetent as well is what I got mm. out of this because immediately they came out with this thread about how oh well it was windy it was windy he's doing well but it was windy 14 miles which, an hour exactly so not that windy and second of all <laughs> 
the most important part of that is that throughout <laughs> the campaign trail, people joked about this is a guy who a stiff wind could blow over. Yeah. And so what did they do? They they bought right in. They they, they actually played into an old joke about <laughs> an old stiff person wind did blow yeah, him over. Actually, like <laughs> oh no, <laughs> a stiff wind did blow him yes. over. That's ter- that's not what I look for in a leader. Um, I think at times pointing out the media hypocrisy can seem a little tired, but it's always it's always nice for all those deniers out there that mm-hmm. claim that oh no they're all CNN MSNBC they're all completely um, no. unbiased. It's it's nice to have a clear example of look at this like they they don't care at all. They're just pushing the Democratic Party. That was that's what right. they were. That's their only purpose at this point. Well, in 2016, wasn't it 93 percent of votes from uh, from journalists went to Hillary? I think it was 93 yeah, percent, like yeah. and then like three percent went to Bernie and <laughs> you know like not left enough two like percent went to somebody else and then Trump got half a person Trump got so you just have anyway. like 96 percent of journalists telling the rest of America why they're stupid exactly